Check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Hey, if y'all haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. This is Attack of Titan Heat. That's starting now. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Rock D. Lee. Direct the mask. Jumping into this attack of Titan Heat. Yeah, last episode, they ran up on my homie Aaron, and it was just fucking shit up in Paradise Island. I got some pushback on it, because people was like, oh, but she was cheering for Aaron, and he was fucking shit up over in Marley, but when it's happening over here, now y'all don't like it. Y'all some hypocrites. I'm like, no, you goddamn right I am. Thank you. These are my people within the world. We've been suppressed for 400, I mean, for millennia upon millennia, locked up in the chair, I mean, walls. These are the people that have my soul. Like I'm a scout at heart, son. Of course I, I was totally upset. agree. Now, the only, th the only caveat is there's the people on Paradise Island, and then there's Aaron with his own agenda that doesn't necessarily go with what the people of Paradise Island no, want. No, no, no. Remember last season, there was people who were actually saying, like, let's go with Aaron. It wasn't yes. just the year Yeagers. Yeagers. There was actual civilians who were like, yo, you want to know the truth? Tell us. And they're actually going against the government themselves. Mm, Remember, true. the government was, was having running. trouble nah. controlling their own yes, people. Yes, but I think, nah. the Yeagers, I think the Yeagers were inciting the civilians. Yes, they So were. the civilians don't necessarily know everything. No. They the know government know more than... They, but more they're not than, telling anyone either. So the Ye Yeah, so the civilians that kind of leave almost like as pawns in this because they don't know anything they're, about anything. Yeah. But they just, do know... From history speaking, that Aaron Aaron's was their always hero. Been there. Yeah, so Aaron, they're siding with Aaron. But it doesn't mean that Aaron is always right. Correct. No, it doesn't. Objectively speaking. Correct. It's what but we, it is. It's who's the last one standing, who finishes the history books. That's how we know how this ends. That's how we know who it won. That that's how it is, right? History is written by the one of When Aaron beats everyone and everyone's dead and he's the last one surviving, he's the hero of mankind, as far as I'm concerned. Yup. Uh, I, I wasn't going with that, but I, I, I like it. I like it because that's your passion <laughs> and that's your conviction, right? Who am I to stand in the way of it, right? That's what you're saying. But to be honest with you guys, even from my perspective as a 90s baby and as a Jamaican and an inner, I say Jamaican because my friend circle is different, you know? But like whoever the protagonist is of the story, I just always grew up like, yo, that's the dude. That's what you go for. And then I find in this modern age, it's like, oh, sometimes you go against your protagonist. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't want your protag to win, motherfucker? No, <laughs> So this has been new to me. I always tell people that yes, I'm a hypocrite, but I don't like in a reaction because I'll say one thing and say the other thing, and it'll go against each other. So I always remind people, yeah, I'll be a hypocrite. But if you want an emotional experience, like, yeah, that's what emotions do. It Emotions often. They can... pull you in different directions. Yeah, that's how it is. I'll, I'll say this. The, the only the only thing about seeing what was happening in parodies, right, is in Marley, it's one thing. They know they're the ones who run the world. They know they're the top titty of the totem pole. They know they're the world power. So, like, when they start getting bodied... It's easy to not feel bad for them because you know they've been conquered. Remember, and Eldians got bodied at Marley. Eldians did get bodied at Marley. Also. That's what it was. Those were random Eldians was chilling. Yeah, they, they got also bodied. did not. Nah, and I and I feel for them, right? It's different when you come to Paris Island where they don't they they're more lost than everybody else. They're working on the least amount of information, so it's easier to feel bad for them because they're operating from they're just. Chickens with the head cut off being slain, right? At least in Marley, y'all had the world's greatest military. Y'all just kind of got caught off guard and jumped. Yeah, some innocent people died, but it was isolated. Y'all came to this island to wipe these niggas out potentially or to re-enslave them to fight for you again. So it's like, it, it's easier to feel bad for the people of Paradise than it is to feel bad for the people of Marley. Okay. But y'all are kind of right. Yeah, we should have been like, oh my God, this is bad all around, which some of us did a little bit. But at the same time, I feel more bad for Paradise than for Marley, and there I said it. Well, anyways, guys, we're going to start this Attack on Titan Heat. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Full reaction and discussion will be on Patreon. 
Also check out our schedules in the description and the pinned comment it has our full inventory. So if you don't like what's on the schedule, use the suggested feature on your boy rockley.com and suggest something else. Also I was gonna grab the sword, but don't worry about it. Also check out the new merch and hit the bell for notifications. Cause we post content daily and you don't wanna miss out. If you wanna cut some neck necks and join the Rock D League crew, go into the description, click on that Discord link so you connect to us and the other neck lovers. Let's jump into Attack on Titan starting now. <laughs> Every time Connie does a huh? You see everyone's looking at him? <laughs> Damn. Oh God. Yeah. At least he said it. He has always said it. So save Aaron. Gangsters. This is the resolve. Oh, he didn't wait much longer, my brother over here. If Aaron's could be cut, what? That's a contradiction. Because he's hiding his intentions. Hmm. They're still raining guns, bro. Fucking up all this real estate. I think Aaron plans on dying. Bruh. Are you fighting for? Oh, yes, Damn. Yes. Yes. Smack the hell out of him! Shit. Old people's homes. He's going to sleep, bruh. Oh, he's trying to bite that name. Ho. Oh. Just go to sleep. We broke that head. Yo, legitimately. You can't bite off a nape if you don't got a jaw. Or the bottom one's broke. You just kind of top gnaw at it. Oh, yo, what this tricep is... workouts did he do to do that? Oh, what, 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 what did you, you see? You ain't see? It's his brother. Yes, Zeke! Oh, you ain't see the Harry? I saw the Harry, but I didn't understand what I was looking at. Did he throw something at him at the right moment? The Wonder Boy. Oh, let's go, Zeke! Aww. We didn't even see a big brother. Let's go, see. Thank you. Let's go. The These whips are going down. The equalizer. Yeah, they they was invaders, bro. That's what they do. Right to the other one. Oh yes, two, two for special. one, baby. Damn. Peaks. Yeah, I'm trying to get in the peak. No wonder he wants to ride on his back. They're trying to hit him. No, oh. they're coming right at you. No, right at you, baby. Oh, Peek is fast, though. Oh. I would ride this roller coaster, though. Uh oh. Flank the cart. Yes. Yes. Oh, shit. Zeke's literally the equalizer. Anti air, anti ground, anti personnel. I He's never. Every fucking cannon, bro. I never imagined that Zeke would be the equalizer. How are we going to come back? Little brother! Oh, you saw I'm so excited! Look at Harry's eyes! Barely! Barely! Oh! Oh my god, I'm so. How? What's she going? Mm. Okay, Gabby, okay, Gabby, okay. 
They also have that. <laughs> You're gonna shoot him? <laughs> Just walk by the like, gangsters. Just go. <laughs> Lord Hinder? <laughs> oh, geez, they're coming out. Yo, he's still around? The guy who got. We saw a guy that got killed that we thought was him, and it wasn't him. Yes! Pixie's still kicking! <laughs> he drank the wine. That's what that was. Oh. Yo, if you drink the wine, you can't put on gear. Yeah, because, I mean, there's no point. That means they're going to be used for something else, obviously. But I mean, we all knew that, but... Now it seems like yeah, it's going to be a willingly guns. thing. Oh, she's leaving the red stuff. Red scarf. Practically speaking, that thing would be messing you up when you're trying to maneuver around and stuff like that, but whatever. I Do you see even, how much shit she has on her back? Yes. She's the one who should, though. Like, she should be the one with so much. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Jean got a bunch of javelins, too. Okay. And then, of course, there's this hoe. <laughs> Acting like she did something. You was just worried. Not even, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> orchestra, my homie. She spent an orchestra. Look at all this destruction. She did this. <laughs> yeah. She's watching her own creation right now. Remember, she worships that homie Zeke. <laughs> that pose, oh my gosh. It's a fire pose, but like, why her? It's not gonna happen in this episode. Aaron was really on his last straw though. It's crazy seeing it. I was really thinking like, oh, freaking Reiner. Yeah, Reiner's coming. Oh, 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 my man, 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 my Orban is the homie! <laughs> because it's like... Oh my god! Why is her face like that? I have no idea. Yo, she looked crazy for a second. Nigga, what the fuck was that? I don't no, know how to read that. Hell no! What was that? She Armin said something that bothered her. Oh, yeah. she like, oh nigga, now you want to help? Maybe that was that look. She like now you want to help? I think it's the way he said it. Like he was like, we have no choice. We've got to help them or something. And she's like, help. She's like, what we don't need your help. It was more like uh, a. I don't know how to read that. That was a fucking creepy face. These soldiers don't like they fought in a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's letting him go. He'll remember this as long as he lives. Oh, they might shoot him. Nah, he's gonna be all right. He said he lied to the rest of the soldiers. But he might shoot him. He might shoot the guy saving him. Gabby finally learned. How remember this? Just little things. That's the little things that make people human. That's fucking humanity, bro. Yeah. In the midst of everybody dying, he's like, listen, this is no place for a kid. Yeah. My side, your side, future Titan or nah. Just get the fuck out of here. Oh, this Gabby part It got took my her attention. way too long to do this, but okay. Gabby had to see some stuff. Yeah, I remember Gabby was basically programmed for years, and this is all she knows. So until she'd been exposed to the side of things. Facts. Oh, and she heard that side. Oh. There's always going to be one in that group of people. That was Gabby. That was Tell Gabby. Me. That was symbolically represented Gabby. How Gabby, Gabby wanted to go after the potato girl. Mm-hmm. Gabby, it's all coming full circle. Oh, 
Oh, they didn't know that at all. Oh. Oh shit! This Hell is yeah, time. nigga. Okay. He doesn't plan to leave. Might as well. It's because he's he knows he's gonna die. But he also knows that's never what she wanted. Gabby's like, what? He's gotta tell her now. Her face. <laughs> what? Look at her cheeks. Oh, uh, yep, you called it. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> okay. It's the last hope. It's the, it might because. I don't think it's, it's not gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work either. But that's what they need to move. If they told Reiner, right. it might motivate Reiner to get rid of the the brother first. Look at him protecting his little brother! Oh, oh my god, god and he's effective! You. It's like he's been trained for this his whole life! <laughs> it's like he didn't have a homie who was playing baseball! It's like, yo, I'm gonna teach you how to throw these rocks! So close to fulfilling our dreams, so close! Oh, she's retransformed. You got it. Uh -oh. Twice. No! Are you dumb, T? He's not this guy. He's really not dumb. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, no. Oh, they said they got the... No, y'all are getting tricked. No one took her out. Thank you. They took out the people, not... You got it. Yeah, He's bro. Cool. Oh! No! Z! Oh, my freaking goodness. Oh, it's just his arm, though. Zeke, what it is takes the... him out of the game for yeah. a little Yeah. Yeah. They think he's gone. What a plan. He's not dissolving. You fools don't know how Titans work. Thank now they got it. Not them, the other ones. They're like, you didn't get them? Cause the body the carcass, they had all the signs of it. That was the but how no it worked. No one got her neck. And then they, but they saw a bunch of people move in on them and they moved on about their business and then you saw the carcass so you just assume your homies did their job. <sighs> they figure it out. This is a second too late. Wow. What an episode. They're all so close to each other. Yeah, it's one of those things. So, remember, it's a chaotic battle. They're all fighting. So... I looked at my homie director and he was moving on the car titan. I had my stuff. I look over. Car the titan's car, gone. Car like, yeah, titan, job, the car titan is in carcass mode. Gas is coming up. I look at director. Director's still alive. So it's like, good job, director. You did your job. Ah, and then, then I was like, yo, good job, director. You did it. Oh and director's like, no, I didn't do it. But I was like, but it's smoke. I was trying to get to the car titan, but on my way, some shit happened. I did it. And I was like, oh. They did their process of elimination. They actually got they to did. it I'm proud of and them. said their remarks. But at that moment, it was like, nah, but I didn't do it. So again, it was just, it was just time. I almost blame Zeke, but I don't blame Zeke because Zeke's doing his thing. He looked over it. Zeke always does this, by the way. I don't say always. No, is, he's done it enough that it's a pattern. Thank he's you. like, ah, this is Halo. Cool. Look Looks away! And then gets his shit because, blasted! Cause the same thing happened with Levi. <laughs> That's why I was gonna say it. How many times do that too oh many God, times? Bro. Cause you know why? You know why I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt? He's a good manager and believes in his people? Fucking bullshit. Fool. Double bro, check your work. He does this every day, bro. Follow they drop this nigga through. in foreign nations. He bodies people, goes back home. Zeke's been doing this for like 12 years. It's what he's doing. The only time he faces complications uh, is uh, on uh, Paradise uh, uh. Islands. Wait, we're not supposed to be riding previews, right? Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, no one's looking. Thank you, thank you. Right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Zeke's been doing this. He's truly, generally speaking, what? I saw her face. I ain't reaching. No, no, don't I even ignore, I... like, ignore her. She does that. I'm going to just go out of there. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, Zeke's been doing this for God knows how long, and it generally works out. And when you have a workforce or you're delegating, you have to have confidence in them because if you spend too much time worrying about if it's gonna work out or whatever. You can't do your own task. Yeah, so it's a double-edged sword. So I'm not gonna fault Zeke for it. And he obviously usually prevails because- He's alive still. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a decision maker. He's like one of the people that decides like, 
how what we're gonna do for this mission before we do it. He's not even just like a like a little grunt soldier. He's nah, a decision maker. Yeah. So, but you saw him. You like in a, a, a episode of season three that like, them they told me to watch out for somebody. Where is he? I'll see him. I think everything's gonna work out. Wait, all all these Titans are dead. What's going on? Ah, it's Levi. Ah. Before he could even put it together, Levi was halfway up his elbow talking about I'm coming for your neck. No. Yeah, so that's Multiple why I... times, bro. Multiple times. This man, Zeke, is just like, ah, job well done. Looks away, looks back, and it's like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. But uh yeah, seeing Aaron struggling over here is like, oh man, Aaron is really he 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 wasn't gonna survive this one without any backup. And of course he wasn't. That's just the nature of how it of how it is. Uh, seeing Armin put together the plan and understand and have some confidence in Aaron has been hopeful. Seeing the Jaegers have their guns to these homies and it's like, Yo, you can't do it if you want to do it. We're going to help the Jaegers. And then helping the Jaegers, what does that mean? Because the Jaegers they're, choosing, they're, to they're choosing the less of two evils. Like from Jean's, Jean's perspective, he's choosing the less of two evils. I don't necessarily like the Jaeger's plan. I don't even know what the Jaeger's plan is. I don't is. like nobody's plan. This is one of those times like I don't like nobody's plan, which which plan is a plan where I potentially live and have a future. The closest thing that I get to that, that's what I'm going after. You know when it became real? When they're like, yeah, Zeke just bodied Hanj and Levi and he's here now, but he's kind of destroying these people who are destroying our town. Choose. And it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? The enemy of my enemy right now is, there it is. They're my enemy. But they're also my friends. Yeah, that's why I never finished the say because I was like, that is way too complicated. But I like this episode. I don't have anything deep to say. It was just dope. Anything adorable? I think that part where um, Armin is like trying to figure out, or no, Mikasa was like saying something about like, why would he say like hate me and stuff? And then going back on like that little feet, you know, flashback that Armin was thinking, he didn't say it. But I think he said what he said to them specifically because he wanted them not to feel bad when he dies. I think he plans on dying. Like that's the only way for all of this to be solved. He's like, for us to be free, we have I will defeat all of our all of our enemies and you guys will live in peace and I will die. But you will you guys will at least be free. Like he wants them to be free. So I think Armin figured out like his plan ends up with him dying and that's why he's pushing them away. Like, do not come along with me. You guys will be fine. Everyone who's on my side is probably gonna perish, like the Yigurus, everyone's gonna perish on our side, but you guys will all be okay. So he's making sure they're taken care of at the end and that they don't have any connection to him. Hence being in jail, they would have, they would not they be would, involved They in wouldn't that. be involved in it. So it's just like, yep, keep So away. to his surprise that he's doing all this, he's gonna look at Mikasa and she's gonna be like, Aaron! Ah, <laughs> oh, this chick! You was supposed to be in jail, what you doing? And I think Armin figured it out, but Armin didn't want to tell Mikasa specifically like why he might have said all those things. He's just like, I don't know. Can I be honest? Like, with I feel like he knows, but sometimes I think Armin's just talking out his ass to Mikasa because you could do it to her. You could just because like she's like she even asked a good question like, why do you think that? And he's like, what? Huh? Buying time? Like, wait, what? You know, when somebody asks you a question, you don't know the answer yet. And like, wait, say that again. Hold up, huh? He's like pulling one of those. I feel like he's just pulling shit out of his ass. But at the end of the day, I do think he is still blindly writing for Aaron, which is exactly what Aaron, while he was whooping his ass, said, Nikki, you just follow me no matter what. And he's just like, yeah, whatever, man. I don't think he's blindly following Aaron because that's been Armin's thing. Armin is supposed to be the person who can- Put things together without no, being- take told. over after Erwin's death. Mm -hmm. So he's supposed to be able to put things together, see the big picture, etc. Way faster et than everyone else. Yeah, he's so always I, been like that. Like when he found out Annie was the one. Yeah, he's he's the Erwin, I don't wanna say replacement because that diminishes his thing, but yeah, he's not blindly following in my opinion. Funny, I thought they were gonna throw this homie up and he would just nuke a bunch of stuff, but now Zeke. Oh! Well, not yet. He's probably gonna regenerate and stuff and he'll be fine. Zeke? Yeah. Oh yeah. Can we talk about the Gabby Redemption arc? Getting a taste of her own fucking medicine? Mm. What's gonna be bad is Ooh, if- Oh, that Robitussin, good, ain't it, bitch? If, if, Zeke, if Zeke screams and he turns everyone, I think that's gonna change Gabby in a very negative way. I don't know which way she's gonna go towards, though, but I think she's gonna turn sides because of how what ended up happening to her friend, you know? I don't think Gabby can become any more negative. Like, she'll be a positive on the Yeager side, if that makes sense, on their side. Like, she'll fight against Marley. I personally don't see Gabby fighting against Marley. 
All I expect of Gabby is to come to understanding. Okay. Even Reiner has understanding, yet fights. Yes. I just expect Gabby to come to understanding, yet she's gonna make decisions that we may not necessarily like, but she's gonna understand, oh, okay, y'all are not bad. I this, think she got her understanding in this yeah. episode. We, we, you pointed out, yo, that was her in the back. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, wow, I hope they're, I hope they're okay. They're toughens. They'll be all right. And there's one person like, yo, fuck them to death, son. I gotta get that potato, girl. She gonna get it. I, if for them to go negative on Gabby, it would just be like backwards to me. So that's why I can only see her becoming a better, better. And that's character. why I said the Gabby redemption arc. It's like I think this is the first episode I didn't want to scream fuck Gabby to death. And right now I'm saying, I'm like, oh, so you see what you did now. You, you're learning, you're growing. I can't be mad at somebody who realized how much they fucked up. She's like, damn, I understand Reiner now. She's like, damn, Falco, you tried to tell me the same goddamn thing. And I was just like, nah, fuck it. I had, now look at me. I had fun doing the whole fuck you Gabby thing. I ain't gonna lie. From oh, it was a lot of fun. It's fun. But at the same time, she's a young girl in that situation where they're, you know, she's she's taught a certain way. You want to hear the tightness, what you gotta think, all that stuff. So I just I just oh, just understood her. They're just opposite sides of the spectrum. I actually kind of viewed her as her own Aaron in a certain way. Not to say that they're the same character, but I just under like similar. Yeah, the if, anger. The it, if season one was from Gabby's perspective, I would've been writing for Gabby. Mm. Yes. And the potato girl just ran in here. This is season one. I don't even know these people. They shot Gabby's people and then Gabby ran up on them. Good for you, Gabby. I would have had the same energy I had for Aaron for Gabby if they started from Gabby's perspective. I feel like that's what they literally did in season four. That, that's supposed to be set up. It's like, ha ha, see how far things have come? Yeah. Look at your new mini Aaron, but you hate this bitch. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Our full reaction and discussion will be on our Patreon. Also check out our schedules in the description and the pinned comment. It has our full inventory, guys. So if you don't like what's on the schedule, use a suggested feature on yourboyrocklee.com and suggest something else. Also check out the new merch on yourboyrocklee.com and hit the bell for notifications. Because we post content daily and you don't want to miss out. If you want to join the Rock D League crew, go in the description, click on that Discord link so you connect with us and the community. Until next time, Rock D Lee. A terrible nerd. Dinas T. Out. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Your boy Rock Lee. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and give us a follow on this Twitch channel. Appreciate you guys' support. Done it. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm gonna laugh. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and check out our Patreon for full and upcoming reactions.